Welcome to another episode. This time we put together Bob CNC Rotary Revolution Machine. All right, so let's start with an unboxing. Uh, the first thing that we're going to do is open up the box, obviously. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't have my knife on me, and I start struggling with a pen to poke through the tape. Eh, it eventually comes open. Finally, there we go. All right, we'll get rid of some of this paper, and we'll pull out the Makita trim router first. There it is. Followed by the accessory kit. Small wooden parts box with a welcome letter. More paper. There's the stepper motors, controller, power supply, and hardware box. Now we'll pull out the large wooden parts and get rid of the box. From there, we'll open it up and we'll clear everything. Okay, so what's next besides me needing a haircut really badly? Um, we've gone ahead and I've gone through the, uh, the instruction manual and I've uh, organized everything by like the group number of what, uh, what it is. So like the Z box or the router mount and stuff like that. And it goes across. So um, it's just time to get to it and start putting it together. Fun time. Oh, something else to note. Uh, I've got my instruction manual here. I pulled it up on my iPad. And uh, just a, a note, it's 151 pages long. Now, that's not all instructions. Uh, there's, uh, you know, welcome to the family, table of contents, um, warnings and getting started and all that stuff. So the actual assembly begins on page 12. Um, but uh, still, so, I mean, that's a lot of pages of instructions, but they're really nice looking. Um, it does give you all the parts that you need for that step. Uh, and then uh, you can see, I mean, really nice uh, photos and stuff like that on how to put it together. So we'll be reading through it and putting it together. Here we go.
the Bob CNC Revolution rotary axis CNC. Um, it all came together, and uh, this from here on is just me talking. So if you want the really short answer, I really like it. Haven't used it yet, but I really like how it all went together and all that. And uh, so um, thumbs up for that. Uh, there's some things I want to talk about, uh, about my build experience on it. And uh, um, uh, so um, Bob CNC sent me this machine, full disclosure here. Um, they, uh, <clears throat> they didn't ask me to do any videos on it or anything. They just wanted my feedback on, on the process of it and, and of building it and, and using it. So, um, I, I appreciate that. Thanks, Bob. Uh, and, uh, building it was, it was really nice. It was a really well done kit. It's a bit intimidating as you can see with all those parts from the beginning. Um, I didn't write down how many parts there were total, uh, but it's it's quite a few. I mean, you could see as I was going through and clearing it and, and all that. So um, for somebody that's never put anything like this together before, I could see how it would be intimidating. But uh, it, don't be intimidated. The directions are really well done. Um, and, uh, you know, it goes together really, really easily. Um, one thing I did see on some other people's videos was that they um, sometimes they were putting too thick of a clear, I guess, on the parts beforehand and would have problems getting them into the slots. Um, I, I used uh, just a spray-on clear. I'll insert a picture of it here. And so you can see what it was. Uh, I just did one coat, as you could see in the video, and it seems to be protecting it pretty pretty well. So, And I didn't have any clearance issues with anything. Um, everything just went right into those slots as they should. So I think I did fine. And, uh, you know, the tolerances are spot on. It's really, really well done. Uh, as far as in the, the directions are concerned, I kind of looked at it like a Lego build instead of a puzzle. Um, cause Legos will spell out each step for you and such like that. Uh, and so, uh, the one thing I, I would think would be beneficial for people that aren't used to doing this was that uh, the individual parts per section are, are listed, um, but it would also be nice if in the directions that the individual steps had like a, a little CAD drawing of what that part looked like. Um, and also to go along with that, all the parts, some of the parts have uh, lasered on part numbers and other ones don't. Um, so I, I would like to see if, you know, lasered numbers on all of them. Uh, it wouldn't take much time for the engineering side of it to add that to it. And and I think it would make things a little more clear. Uh, there was a piece or two that I grab and go, oh, that's not the right one. Uh, because I'd have to skim back and confirm which part it was. Um, there's no way to put things together wrong. The way that they've done the tabs and everything, you can't put something in backwards, really. Um, except for one part. Uh, which was the, the chuck. Um, when I was putting it together, I did put the chuck together backwards. Um, had the um, had the little feet on here coming out the wrong side and such. But uh, after another um, one picture in the drawings or in the directions, I saw that I was doing it wrong. And took it apart and switched it and it was fine. Other than that, the, the, the directions are long. I mean, there's half a million parts in this thing. Um, of course, that's exaggerating. Uh, but, uh, you know, it's 150 something pages long, uh, but it's basically it's one step per page, really. So it's uh, and it, it walks you right through. So don't get intimidated on the directions. I didn't have any issues with the kit as a whole. Um, the only thing that I had issues with uh, with the kit was actually the accessory kit. Uh, and I can show you here what uh, what it was here. Let me. One was uh, with this cover piece. Uh, this hole here on the cover piece wasn't there, so I had to drill it out. That cover one. Um, but uh, I, I checked uh, um, with some other people that have had these. None of them have had it, so it, it was an oddity for mine. Um, also, the other other oddity. Um, you can kind of see the edge of a piece of plywood here. This one piece uh the inner all the holes are in the right place but the piece was shifted over like that eighth of an inch or so and uh it doesn't interfere 
with the outside here or anything so you know who cares uh, but it is just something that was not quite right um the uh another suggestion that i would have is this little guy here so this is a drill plate for putting this uh steady rest or whatever you want to call it there um when you're putting it up there you can see you have some screws here right there so the plate doesn't actually go up all the way against here for straight uh, uh drilling so i did notch them i put little notches in there to get it closer the uh how that could actually be rectified is you really don't even need this and i sent this feedback to bob too that uh just if they laser in the holes already in here then it doesn't matter if somebody gets the accessory kit or not uh you know the holes would be there and uh if they use it they use it they don't they don't um but uh just to keep with the accuracy of the parts getting together um, when I was drilling through the guide and into this uh, side piece, I blew out a little bit of uh, the plywood on the backside. Not a big deal, nothing to be concerned about or anything, but uh, uh, it was a, it was just something I, I think that uh, could help out and make it even easier to get done. Um, besides that, everything worked really well. Was very very pleased with it. Oh yeah, the electronics. I, I mean, worked right out of the box the i use uh anybody that watches my channel knows that i run a raspberry pi with my gatton cnc um so and that uses gerbil uh this also uses the gerbil software and uh um so i'm used to how that stuff functions so i downloaded the uh, basic sender um and to to move it around a little bit and play with it and uh worked right first time just plugged it in and went uh home in the right directions and all that good stuff so uh very simple very easily done uh, i it, it, i'm excited to play with it and, and run it hopefully this weekend I, I have some bits and all that coming so they didn't make it in time uh for me to actually run a project for this video uh so that'll be the next one uh anyway the system it, it was overall again like i said it's a pretty cool machine uh, I like having the uh, a, a rotary for just doing rotary stuff um, because like uh, if you do rotary on you know the, a normal machine um, you know, you're tying up your machine you got to set it all up you got to you know this you don't have to zero out and all that good stuff it, it just it's ready to go it, it knows what it's there for and goes um, Besides that, I mean, there's really nothing else to say at the moment. Uh, I am really impressed with the rigidity of the machine. Uh, the it's that it's a th what quarter inch plywood, uh, birch Baltic birch plywood, which I love Baltic birch plywood. Um, but I, you know, there was some kind of skepticism in me that uh, was like, I don't know how steady this thing's going to be to put together, um, but it's rock solid it, it does really good yeah he they did put some like handholds here on the corner you can see one right up right there um i didn't i don't lift it up by that to move it around i grab it underneath the gantry just because of the tipping point and then you know the more the weights on that back side um but uh it's really light it only weighs about 35 ish pounds i would say um so you can move it around you don't have to have it on a dedicated table or anything you can just drop it up here and run it if you want um i'll probably build something to stand it on but uh yeah pretty awesome hey good deal anyway that's it for this one i hope you enjoyed the uh different kind of style of of how i did this video hopefully it uh um i, I figured they're they're always improving their stuff so me doing a step-by-step -step on hey do this and do that wasn't going to work out. Um, so I just figured I'd show you a time lapse of putting it together. Uh, I would say it took overall about eight to 10 hours to put together. Um, but it was an enjoyable experience. It wasn't, nothing about it is stressful trying to figure it out. Um, but uh, it's a good deal. Well, anyway, enjoy it. Hope you enjoyed it.
and uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.